You know what time it is, don't you? Yes, it is weekly vlog time. Stay tuned. Friday evening. Here in Topeka, Kansas. Picking up my loaded trailer for Laredo, Texas. Kind of chilly up here. Not too bad though. I guess it could be a lot worse. Checking out all the lights and everything. Making sure we're good to go. Everything looks good. Man. Can't do a lot of cranking on the landing gear. That wore me out. Old trail. Do a paperwork and get out of here. Wednesday morning. Finally made it out of the radio yesterday. Uh, but I didn't take a load out of there. I think Bob tell me all the way up to uh, Garland, our yard. And said either get an empty, come to Little Rock. Or there'll be a load there on the yard, you can bring the little rock. If none of that happens, just continue bobtailing the little rock. Yes, I will get paid for bobtailing. But I got a, almost all the way up here yesterday, and they sent me a pre plan to get an empty there on the Garland Yard, come over here to Plano, Texas, pick up a load, take it to Little Rock. So that will work. I was wanting to get it lowered off the Garland Yard, but it don't work that way sometimes. So I, I'm up here, Plano, uh, dropped my empty, hooked in my loaded trailer, got my bills, and we're on the way to Little Rock. 30, well, Interstate 30, eastbound. At the uh, 42 mile marker, here coming up on Prescott, Arkansas. Not to be confused with Prescott, Arizona, which before I started trucking, I didn't know of Prescott except for the one in Arizona. I had never been there, I just heard of it. But that's beside the point, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> trying to say that uh, you see exit 44 up here uh, is uh, where the TA Travel Centers of America is there exit 44 I hang out there quite a bit but we're not stopping there today so we're getting this load to Little Rock dropping it so I can go home. And it must have just rained through here recently because the roads are still kind of wet. I'm getting the spray from the cars and trucks. Kind of aggravating. Yeah, I think we're about 80, 84 miles from the uh, Little Rock Yard. What, about an hour and a half? It's 12... Almost 12.30 Central. Should be there by 2 o'clock. As long as everything goes as planned. There ain't no backups or anything else. But it seems to be running pretty smooth today. Now that's the exit for the TA. Down here at the Snakes exit, which would be Double Trouble at the CB shop. Exit 46 here is uh, where the Loves Travel Center is. 
I think that radio shop is uh, across the street, street from the love, so maybe that's the one back there exit 44. Come on. Across to the Valero. 46, he said, inside the Valero. CB shop. You ever read this area? And do some CB work. There you go. I don't know. I've never had any CB work down there, so I don't, couldn't tell you. You have to find out on your own on that one. Okay, here's, you see the sign, maybe, through my nasty windshield. It's for the loves. Take the exit, take a right. Right there on the right. It's kind of a small, tight area, so get in there early if you don't park. 30 eastbound. There's be a wreck or something up here in the on the westbound lane. The traffic backed up, looks like. Right lane looks like it's closed. Oh, what a... So close to the holidays. It's bad. Yeah, you ready on the yeah, we go to go. Wow. Because no one said shit, really, so... To uh, 69 mile marker heading westbound. Yeah, it is. I've been listening to him for a fucking hour. Such a hundred is on my radio. Sorry about that. It's uh, It's backed up still. I've seen a lot worse before. Talking about getting off the exit 69 and going around it. Come Santa Claus, here come Santa Claus. Can't even get on the exit 69. Back up a few ways. Got about a mile, maybe. Right lane to get by with, man. Right lane yeah. to get by. All right. Lane to get by. Cramming up there again. Everything's over the left lane there. Made it to Little Rock, dropping a trailer. Everything's on hook, ready to go. Uh, pull the bob table over here. Got to go to the company store, pick up on some last minute Christmas gifts. And head on to the house. So with that said, I want to end this week's vlog right here. Because it is a trucking vlog. So when I'm not trucking, I'm not going to vlog. At least when I'm out on the road, where I'll be sitting at a truck stop or something, still, you know, I'm out on the road trucking. And, uh, and like some other trucking vloggers, they vlog 24 7 or personal stuff. I don't. It's strictly just trucking vlog. And, uh, uh, next week there will not be a vlog because I'll be at home. That's what I just said. And uh, but there will be another video I'm working on. Special video. I'm going to have that going. Should be ready to go New Year's Eve. So look for it on New Year's Eve. I hope y'all will enjoy it. So look for that one coming up. So with that said, everybody have a happy holiday, happy new year, and I will see you in a couple weeks.